Agri returned with a bang over the weekend, beginning on Friday with its opening ceremony. And then on Saturday and Sunday, thousands of Belizeans converged on the showgrounds where every and anything in terms of agricultural products were on display and for sale. There was also the rodeo, which is a crowd favorite. We'll get to that excitement later, and the mechanical rides and games for the entire family. Intermittent showers left the ground muddy, and visitors had to tread carefully while traversing the footpaths, but it was a great experience with almost everything back to normal. This year, micro, small, and medium businesses had boots on the ground. I'm into gardening, and I had a lot of excess pepper at one point, and I said, what am I going to do with this? And so I started experimenting with different recipes, and that's how we came up with Mustard Mayhem. Uh, it's coined Spice Made to Entice, and it's really enticing. It's been as far as Africa already. Um, of course, friends supporting me and that have known about the product. Today I'm out here promoting it so that others can know about it. We love chips, me and my wife. We love, love chips. And one thing we realize is in a Belize, we have planting chips, cassava chips, but they are not standardized, they are not quality. So we try to do the best we could. So we bring good quality, high standards, nice packaging, and nice flavor. So, so we could not just compete locally, but at some point we could go out there and bring the, what, show the world what Belize have. Let's talk about the products that you have, because as they say, all different flavors are planted chips out there. Man, the cassava chips, we have sour cream flavor, we have the original flavor, which are like a hint of habanero, a hint of lime and salt, and we also have the hat, which are is extra spice, habanero, right? And the planting chips, we have the hat, the original flavor, and the barbecue, where a nice, semi kind of sweet, nice flavor. Now, where is this being packaged? Where is this being done? It's in San Ignacio. It's, it's not a huge business, but we are trying to do us to do something from scratch and just to do it good. What would Agric be without those great deals on phones and gadgets? Samsung banners were strategically placed across the showground. The company was one of the major sponsors of the event this year, and its distributor, Cellular World, brought out its big guns. This is our one of our staple events. We've done something different this year for the Belizean public, and we have Samsung officially in Belize with a first ever boot at the Agriculture and Trade Show, which is something unique um, to, to strengthen the presence and strengthen the ties with the community to, to let them feel secure about this one-year warranty, reliability, efficiency when it comes to the brand. Um, uh, besides Samsung, we have, you know, we always, like always, we have great deals at our Cellular World boot. Um, we've also introduced our new Cellular World business boot, whereby we get, uh, we have, we, we're catering to all B2B and corporate clients, you know, Dell, APCs, Samsung, TCL TVs, uh, laptops, desktops. So, you know, it's a, it's a one-stop shop. You have your Samsung experience, you have your Cellular World low prices, more choices, and you have your business solutions now. There was a wide variety of foods to choose from, but one food truck that stood out was Miss Debs. We went from just me and my son to now we have um, five, five regular employees. And um, because of the, not only because of the demand, but also the process. We have had to adjust our process. COVID knocked us hard and we had to learn how to go more local, find more local supplies and stuff like that. And so in, in, in one sense, that's a blessing. But we have had to learn to adapt to environment, into service, in the processes, in the everything. Well, we started doing Agric eight years ago. We were just talking about that this morning and we only missed the two years because of they didn't have it. And um, we've changed, we've moved to a different location. We've modified our hours. We don't do the late night crowd anymore. We, um, we are just trying to meet our regular customer bases and the people that come here, they're coming from far. This year's rodeo had a minor but laughable scare when a bull leapt over the perimeter fence and escaped into the crowd. People scrambled for safety as the runaway bull barged through the throng. Ranchers set chase after the bull with lassos and it was later caught. Dwayne Moody for News 5.